Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to join together and to celebrate communion. Obviously, on screen is a very poor second to in the flesh. And I guess the good news is that with current, uh, the way things are going, is that this will probably be the second last time we'll do it on a screen. But that doesn't mean it's the last time we celebrate communion. It means that we can shift to doing and celebrating communion and all that that means in a group setting. And so we encourage that strongly. So let's worship for a sec, and then Terry's going to lead us in communion. Amen? Yes, God, we thank you that you gave your life for us, Lord. That means a lot. That's something that a lot of us would never do for even our own family, Lord. But you've done it for us.
Hi, it's great to be with you tonight and to share around communion together. You know, it's a time that we can remember and encourage ourselves and, um, and think upon on, um, all that it means that has, Jesus has achieved for us. And, you know, tonight I was just thinking it's good to encourage ourselves to keep the faith and to continue to keep trusting in Jesus. You know, Jesus trusted his Father and he trusted in his Father's will, a perfect will for his life, knowing that it would reap such benefits and such a reward. And we're the same, you know, as we trust in Jesus and all that he's done, we, we know that he is faithful and that um, there, the benefits are just are incredible. They give us life and, and um, a future and a hope. And, you know, we know that in, in, um, in our heads sometimes, but we need to really encourage ourselves to, to keep trusting and having faith in his word. Hebrews 11 um, is a very in, um, encouraging chapter in that it talks about you know all the people that overcame in in faith and Jesus overcame by um by trusting in his father's will and walking in obedience and um tonight it, it's just really good for us to to remember that our our faith is not just in you know um our faith has a great reward and produces and great fruit in our lives and in in the future um, of of our lives, and so as we come around the the Lord's table tonight, let's just encourage ourselves to continue in faith. And Hebrews um, eleven one says that faith makes us sure of what we hope for and gives us proof of what we cannot see. And it's so important for us in this world that base we everything upon what is seen that we remember that everything comes out of the spiritual realm and um, you know and we create by walking by faith we we allow God to work through our lives and create and bring bring forth that which he wants to produce that also brings blessing and provide providence and um, a future for us so I encourage you to um, tonight as we come around communion to really um, encourage yourself to continue to trust God with every area of your life, not just some, but every area, for great is your reward. Let's take uh, the emblem of a broken body and whatever that is at your place right now. Let's take that and let's pray together before we eat. Father, we thank you for sending your son Jesus. We thank you for the purposes. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the goodness. We celebrate it. We remember the broken body and uh, all that it cost you. And so we celebrate and honor you for it. We bless you, Lord. So as we take and eat, we do it in remembrance of the one who loves us more than anyone else ever can or will. So we honor you, Lord. Amen. Let's let's eat together. And taking the cup. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the blood that was shed. Thank you for the impact it has upon our lives. Thank you for the reality of the blood and what it speaks even today. It speaks down through the ages with the same clarity and the same power that it ever did. And it breathes life and encouragement to our hearts as we worship and honour you. And we remind ourselves that the blood is what's on the mercy seat in heaven. Literally unleashing forgiveness upon our lives, the mercy of God upon our lives. Opening the door of relationship and love and all the good things of God, and we honor you for your blood. We honor you for what you went through on our behalf, and we deeply appreciate it and bless you for it. Amen. Let's drink. Hallelujah.
Well, we pray you have a great week. God bless you real good. Amen. <laughs>